Hello learners of class 10, welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Learners, today we are doing a poem from our English language textbook, the first flight, lesson 3, the ball poem. Learners, let me introduce Kriti, uh, a learner like you. Uh, uh, let, me, let me begin by asking you learners and Kriti, yes, sir. Uh, have you lost anything? recently yes. Uh, yes what was it what was it yes sir i did lost a pair of sandals and they were new to me i bought them recently so okay you did lose yes. something okay <laughs> a sandal. then what was your feeling so i was feeling a lot of sadness because they were the new pair as you i've told you okay and i was a little bit of attached to them because they were comfortable okay. and they were like Okay, fine, yeah. fine, fine. Learners, think of something, uh, you lost it and how did you feel? Come on, now I am going to take you further into the past. As a child, you may have lost or you must have lost something. What was it and how, what was the feeling when you lost it? Uh, I lost my uh, toy. It was a dog and it was a stuffed toy as I would say and uh, it was given to me by my grandparents. So, there was a sense of deep attachment to the toy. So, you, you felt bad about yes. it. Yes. Okay, learners, losing and also gaining, we gain and then lose. So, most of the time, we gain to lose something, then we, we lose something and we feel very bad, bad about it and sad and we start cursing ourselves or the event which happened. So, here is a poem, the ball poem. Today, we will discuss that, how a boy loses his ball and how the poet makes it a big thing if we lose something and we humans lose many things and regret about it. So, before we get on to the lesson, read, understand, interpret the lesson, yes, sir. Uh, let me ask Kriti to read the learning objectives of this lesson. Sure, Here, sir. Yeah, please go ahead. Objectives of the lesson. At the end of this lesson, learners will be able to read the poem, the ball poem with understanding and appreciate the ideas of the poet. Understand literary devices such as metaphor, imagery, symbol, simile, rhyme scheme, etc. Interpret the ideas and language of the poem to connect with real life experiences. Move beyond the poem to extrapolate ideas with the contemporary world. Learners, these are the objectives you have set. One is you, you must have noticed there are four objectives. Yes, sir. The first one is just to understand the poem. Whatever we read, whenever we read something, be it poetry, prose, short story, we read to just to understand. understand. Yes, sir. Then, then we try to understand how the language is used and the poetic devices, then interpret it or oh, how I look at it from my point of view. So, that is what, that's what we are going to do learners. Uh, Poetry is different from the language of prose. So, let us get into the ideas of the poem in order to decode the language, ideas, theme, each and everything. Okay. Firstly, let us introduce the poem to the learners just re reading out. Sure, sir. So, learners, do not bother much about the individual words, just understand the meaning of the poem. Here it is, the ball poem by John Berryman. What is the boy now who has lost his ball? What? What is he to do? I saw it go merrily bouncing down the street and then merrily over. There it is in the water. No use to say, oh, there are other balls. An ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy as he stands rigid, trembling, staring down all his young days into the harbour where his ball went. I would not intrude on him, yet dime another ball is worthless. Now, he senses first responsibility in the world of possessions. People will take balls, balls will be lost always little boy and no one buys a ball back. Money is external, he is learning well behind his desperate eyes, the epistemology of loss. How to stand up, knowing what every man must one day know and most know many days how to stand up. Learners, 
this is the poem. The first poem, the whole poem reading tells us something is lost by the boy. Yes. What, what, what does he lose? He loses the boy. Okay. Now, let us also listen to it again. The boy poem. What is the boy now who has lost his boy? What, what is he to do? I saw it go merrily bouncing down the street and then merrily over. There it is in the water. No use to say, oh, there are other boys. An ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy. As he stands rigid, trembling, staring down, all his young days into the harbour where his ball went. I would not intrude on him. A dime, another ball is worthless. Now, he senses his first responsibility in a world of possessions. People will take balls. Balls will be lost always, little boy. And no one buys a ball back. Money is external. He is learning well behind his desperate eyes. The epistemology of laws, how to stand up, knowing what every man must one day know, and most know many days, how to stand up. Okay, thank you. Learners, the last phrase, last sentence, how to stand up. So, we lose things and we gain things. Same. Now, Kriti and, yes. and the learners there, we are going to, in a way, dissect the poem to understand better. We know that the boy has lost the ball and the poet looks at it. Losing a ball is a very simple thing. A dime, he says a dime is a very uh, what's it, uh, 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 thing uh, that is, it is like 5 paise, 10 paise. Yeah. We do not have uh, now uh, uh, in US the pence they call it, pence still has value. So, it is it may be 10 paise or 50 paise or 2 rupee, let us take it today a ball or 5 rupee which is not a big thing. But the loss for the boy is big. big. So, he is desperate, he is standing watching the ball all through the harbour, means so much of pain and sadness, why is it so? So, the poet takes a, a simple event into loss of many things in life. So, that is what we are going to dissect the poem. Come on, I am going to show you the events one side, Kriti and learners you will be pointing out the lines which would refer to the event or thinking of the boy. Okay? Look at it on the on your what is it left side. Huh? Yeah. Mm. You will see the boy was playing with the ball. So, what would be the line you will pick up from the poem? What is the boy now who has lost his ball? Okay. He is playing and lost. He lost his ball. What is he to do? Okay, the poet asks, he has lost the ball, what is he what to is do? He to Sometimes, you know, we lose, uh, recently in my neighborhood, a young man of 45 passed away. Yeah. Uh, and it was very, you know, we could not believe it. He died of cancer. Yeah. So, how is the loss to the child? The child is probably uh, 8, 9 years old. Uh, he could not even understand. So, the loss we know, what is that loss? The poet looks at the loss of the ball is not a simple thing for the boy. The way you feel something great, you have lost it. The poem is telling us a lot of complexity of emotions involved in with the ball. Uh, okay. With the ball and with life of people. Okay. Yes. The third event, the ball went into water. No use to say, oh, there are other balls. The boy is sad. What is the line you will pick up from poem? Stands rigid trembling, staring down. Okay. Sometimes when you lose something, you, you do not know what to do. You just stand, tremble and you stare at some, something where it went, somewhere. Okay. Why the poet or the narrator of the poem says, I would not intrude on him? No one will help or get back the boy. Okay. Does that mean, when you lose something, be it a person we lose, a bit uh, materials we lose, money or job, anything, nobody is going to help you. You have to undergo the pain yourself. Yes, sir. Fine, learners, loss is part of life. Come on. The loss and gain. 
people will take balls, balls will be lost. Okay, you will be gaining something and you will be losing something. Okay. Look at it, learning from the loss. He is learning well behind his desperate eyes. So, when we lose something, uh, learners, you also must have thought that in all through, you, you, you are in a class, all through you have been getting 70, 80, 90, you will be happy. At one of the tests, suppose you get 40, 45 and maybe you have a mistake or you not have a mistake or not learnt anything or learnt something wrong or not taught well, but you will be regretting because you are the one at the receiving end. So, but at the same time you are also learning something how to cope with, stand up, okay. uh, taking up loss. The epistemology of loss, how to stand up. Okay. Learners, we will discuss further the epistemology of loss, it is a big word. big word. So, epistemology is nature of knowledge, means nature of loss, how people lose things. One is why we lose things, because we, we forget or we do some mistakes, errors, blunders, so we lose. Now, on the other hand, we lose without knowing why we are losing. So, the, the, the idea of loss, the event of losing something has its own nature. So, let us see it. Loss is common and part of life and living. Knowing what every man must one day know and most know many days how to stand up. There are two things. Will you read, read out those lines? Sure, sir. Hmm. Knowing what every man must one day know and most know many days how to stand up. Okay. May all of us have to learn that we will be losing things. Yes. But many people know al al already know. Yes. They know that if you gain something, this is going to be lost. And a very, very great example, living example is we are growing. We are losing our childhood. We are losing our youth. We are losing our prime time. Then we grow old. So, learners, that is what the epistemology of loss. Now, I am going to ask you to read the poem again or let me read out again so that we can uh, explore paragraph wise. So, we are not going to explain you line by line, word by word, that is not good for a poem at least. So, you will be reading, rereading to understand. Learners, here is the poem for you. Kriti, Listen to it. Now, I am going to ask you some more questions based on them. Sure, okay. sir. The ball poem, John Berryman. What is the boy now who has lost his ball? What? What is he to do? I saw it go merrily bouncing down the streets and then merrily over. There it is in the water. No use to say there are other balls. An ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy. As he stands rigid, trembling and staring down, all his young days into the harbour where his ball went. I would not intrude on him, yet dime another ball is worthless. Now, he senses first responsibility in a world of possessions. People will take balls, balls will be lost always, little boy, and no one buys a ball back. Money is external. He is learning well behind his desperate eyes the epistemology of loss, how to stand up, knowing what every man must one day know and most to know many days how to stand up. Kriti, the poet uses the phrase, uh, the sentence, how to stand up, the last two lines twice. Yes, sir. So, it is not Losing is unimportant, losing is important, losing is common, we have, a, we have to gain and, and lose and sometimes gain to lose. So, in that case, what is important to learn? How to? The important is how we rise up from that situation. Okay. So, learners, let me summarize, uh, summarize the poem quickly so that uh, so people would not be saying, uh, we have not explained it. Okay. Here is a boy who plays a ball. Uh, with their ball and as he plays it gets into water, he feels that it is the big, biggest loss ever he has had. So, he is desperate, eyes, he is looking into the ball for a long time into the harbour, means he is thinking about the loss for a long time and the poet now intrudes, say that 
I would not intrude Intrude. on him. He comments it. It's a happening. And he says that, oh, 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 let him undergo the pain of being losing something. something, something. Then he says that, then the poet gives hope. Oh, no, no, the boy, you should be learning how to stand up, cope with the loss, understand the epistemology of loss, nature of loss, loss. meaning nature of human nature of losing things. If you do not, then you will not accept losing, you will not be gaining anything more. Come on. It is the acceptance basically of losing a thing and then rising. Mm. And human nature, human nature. Fine. Come on. Here are some questions for you, the learners and Kriti. I am going to read out the question. You will have to pick up the right option from the ones I give you. Okay. Okay. Number one, why does the poet say, what is the boy now who has lost his ball? A, the boy has lost all hope. B, what will the boy do now without the ball? C, it is good to lose the ball. Maybe the inclination is towards it is good to lose the ball. Is it? Because Learners? he wants to Look. teach the boy of the sense of losing something and then gaining. Okay. I am not asking what you are going to infer from the lines. Okay. So, okay. read the lines. We say that do not read In between, between and <laughs> beyond the lines. Come on, here is the line. Why does the poet say? What does the poet mean when he says, what is the boy now who has lost his ball? Okay. Hmm. A. Now I understand. <laughs> okay. Yes. What is it? The boy has lost all, all hope. his hope. The losing of the ball is a trivial, simple thing, but for the child, it is it's, it's more than anything. More than now, the second one, why does the poet again say, the ball is merrily bouncing? A, the ball shows its happiness, the ball shows the opposite of what the boy feels, the boy shows his happiness or the poet is happy that the boy feels sad about losing the ball. This would be option B, the ball shows the opposite of what the boy feels. Fine. See. Ball is bouncing, but it, it will not express any feeling because it's a it's not a, 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 a living thing. But the poet symbolically tells something: the boy is sad. The now ball is bouncing. The bouncing is actually happiness. So, learners, let us derive infer some meaning. Now we are moving slightly deeper into the poem. The ball is happy because the boy is sad. Boy is sad yeah. This is what we assume when we are sad. We, we assign things to others. We, oh, he is laughing at my sadness. Yeah. So, this is what the world goes on. Come on. Now, question 3. Why no use to say, oh, there are other balls? Why no use to say, there are other balls? A, the boy loved the ball. There are no other balls like this one. This ball has a special emotion for him. B, the boy is grief striking because the ball is lost forever. It is a very uh, difficult question to answer because all the options are fitting like correctly to the question asked. Fine. So, but still I, if I had to choose one option, uh, I would choose there are no other balls like this one, option Fine. B. But there are, you can buy the same ball, no? But the attachment he had with that particular ball hmm. could not be bought. By the other one. Yes. Okay. I take it, learners, you may choose, uh, go for any other option because I am not sure of uh, what Kriti says. Uh, I will say that the ball has a special emotion for him. Yeah, uh, that, uh, that also okay. possible. Now, learners, uh, here are uh, uh, the fourth one. Why does the boy stand rigid, trembling, staring down all his young days? He is looking at the hover, all his young days gone. How? Why? A. He has been regretting the loss of the ball. B. He has been thinking why he lost the ball. This is slightly deeper. C. He has been feeling about the loss. D. He has been cursing others for the loss of the ball. This would be option A. He has been regretting the loss of the ball. So, I am going for B. Look at okay. it. He has been thinking why he has lost the ball. So, sometimes we know 
uh, we suffer, we say, why I suffer? Okay. Why not others? Why I only? This is very, very deeper and very dangerous thing also. Uh, it, it, it creates a kind of sympathy in you, self-pity, that, that's uh, dangerous. Uh, we should not self-pity ourselves, we should actually feel that, oh, this is lost, how I can cope with that? I can come out of that. So, I, I take what you have said, he has been regretting the, uh, the loss, loss of the that's ball. That's why all of the emotions are coming uh, inside, coming inside from the boy, like he is rigid, he is trembling, he is unable to basically um, speak out like what he is uh, actually feeling. So, the physical uh, body is showing those actions. Okay. So, losing. if people lose something and they start thinking why they have lost it, uh, if they raise question, that would be useful in order to reflect. The boy, the, the, the poet says, the boy is actually reflecting, but not, he is not reflecting the right way. So, he is regretting about it. Yes. So, what we need to do is reflect why I have done it. 5. Why I would not intrude on him? A. The boy should feel bad about the loss. The boy should realize the loss. The boy should realize that the loss is part of life. The boy should not be disturbed as he is grieving. This would be option C. Hmm. The boy should realize that loss is part of life. Okay, I am going for D, learners, you see it. Uh, the boy, so sometimes you know, when people uh, die in, uh, in some families I have seen, they say let, let the person very nearer to the spouse or someone, uh, let, let them grieve, let them feel bad about, I mean sad about that, let, let's cry. That is what the idea of crying, I mean, when we feel, generally we take learners, crying is a bad thing, weeping is a bad, but it also a human emotion, yes, which if whenever needed, uh, as it demands warrants, we should do it. The boy should not be disturbed as he is grieving. Okay. I am going for it, but okay. I, I will take what you have said, see, the boy should realize that loss is part of life, of course. Because as you hmm. said that hmm. uh, the boy is supposed to reflect what he has lost. So, so that could be a part where he is reflecting or hmm. realize that loss is a part of life. Okay. The, the n next question, another ball is worthless, why? Why another ball is worthless? A, another ball cannot equate this ball. B, the memory and feeling attached to the ball can, can be replaced by another ball or cannot be replaced by another ball. This ball might have been intimate to him. So, you are going to take all three. If I had to choose, uh, I would go for another ball can't equate this ball. Fine. But all the other options, I, as I said, fits a little bit uh, to the situation the boy is facing. Fine. In the I, yeah, B, look at B. Yes. The memory and feeling yes. attached to the ball cannot be replaced by another ball. Fine. Now, I am going to pick up some lines from the poem. Okay, Let, sir. Let's, uh, let me ask you what, the, what do they mean. Okay, sir. He senses first responsibility in the world of possessions. So this this could mean um, like all over the poem. The poem has a lot of meanings uh, intact. So losing of something, as you said, is important because then we realize the importance of the gain we will have after it. Mm -hmm. So now he senses the responsibility that if I lose something, I also lose my feeling attached to it or my uh, okay. I, okay okay i'm stopping you here okay, sorry sir. he senses first responsibility okay we should not lose anything we should hold we should be responsible for the things we possess but you see he he senses first responsibility in a world of possessions so you have to read the responsibility in a world of possessions because everyone else in the world is possessing I have lost the ball. Hmm. All other boys who are playing with the ball, they, they are possessing it. Yes. So, look at, uh, uh, let take it to the adult, adult world. Okay. If you are living in a city, uh, 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 in the neighborhood, uh, people will be asking, uh, have you not bought a house yet? Then, if you are a spinster, uh, when are you getting married? So, it is all possessions. If you are not getting married, when are you, uh, there is an Indian way of asking, yes. uh, still not settled, gets, getting settled. Hmm? Where, where, I have got settled. So, 
we, the world is looking at us with possessions. Everyone, so that is what he senses his, oh, when I lose the ball, I now feel, oh, everyone has some responsibility and some possessions. So, when everyone is possessing, if I lose a ball, people will say, think I am irresponsible. So, now look at the sentence from this point of view learners, he senses first responsibility in a world of possessions. So, if everyone yes, else is a mad person, if you are sane, you may be wrong. Yeah. So, that is what and everyone else is possessing things, people are after material, uh, property, wealth, education and if you do not, you are irresponsible. This is what the poet is provoking the boy. Now, the, another sentence, people will take balls, balls will be lost always little boy. Does the poet say the boy or everyone else, all humans, adults? Uh, he is basically telling to all but in this poem directly to the boy that these are like natural things, this is going to happen in your life. So, as we see that this is the this is, in this poem, it is the first loss. So, he is familiarizing the boy that the things will be lost, you will gain something, you will lose something. So, he is familiarizing the boy that balls will be lost, always little boy. Okay. Then, as we stop it there, there are lots of uh, other things. Uh, the poem uh, has, it is a symbolic representation of humans, their possessions, losing, nature of life. Nature, nature's law also that you gain something, you lose something. Everyone is born young, child, then grows up. That you are losing something. You know that famous poem. What is this life, full of care? Huh? Uh, there is no time to stand and stare. It yeah. ends. You know, yeah. all that was good, all that was in me is gone. The boy, from this uh, teenage, uh, from childhood to teenage, he moves. He says uh, that the poet says. I think W. H. Davies, I do not know the poet, you may uh, know that, uh, it says all that was good, all that was in me is gone. Mm? From my childhood, I'm, I become now an adolescent, then from adolescent, I become a youth, then a middle aged man, then every time I am losing everything. The world we live, we keep losing things, that is the idea of the poem. Learners, let me bring out two sentences from the poem. The first one is, and no one buys a ball back, that is ok. We lose something, you will not buy it again, you will not get the same ball again, fine. The next, next sentence the poet is using, money is external, meaning you may have money to buy 100 such balls or you may not have money to buy another ball at all, but that is different, but you have lost the ball. Yes. So, something you possess, you have lost it in the world of possessions. Possession. Learners, the last three lines of the poem, uh, epistemology of loss, how to stand up, knowing what every man must one day know and many know many days, how to stand up. Learners, Kriti? Yes, sir. It is money is external fine, you have money you can buy, if you do not have money you will not buy, but the losing of the ball matters. Also epistemology of love, oh, oh there is nature in losing, understanding how loss happens and it is quite natural law of nature that we lose it yes. and okay, I'm, if losing is natural to humans, how to stand up is the thing. So, learners you may lose something even your studies, but learn how to cope with that, stand up in life and achieve that is what. Uh, thank you learners. Thank you sir for having me and thank you learners. Okay. We will meet you in the next part of the English lesson.